Let's clean our camera sensor. Hi everyone and welcome to pal to tech Today we are going to clean our Fujifilm camera sensor. There are two things I need to tell you before we get started. The first is that your sensor is a very fragile and expensive area of your camera. If you're unsure in any way or feel that you wouldn't be able to do it correctly, then do not clean your sensor and instead just send your camera out for professional sensor cleaning. I won't think any less of you, I promise. Keep in mind if you decide to go forward with this, you do assume all risk and you are 100% on your own in performing this procedure. However, it's not that hard. The second thing I want to tell you is that there are a few additional steps for the Fujifilm X-H1 and the X-T4. Both of those cameras have IBIS. I'll go over this at the appropriate place in the video, so if you own either one of those cameras, Pay attention to that segment. These are photos that I took in Phoenix, Arizona with a Fujifilm X-T2, and you can see how sensor dust can really be a problem. Now, there is a simple test you can do to see if you do have sensor dust already on your sensor. Point your camera at something white, like you could even put an open blank Google or Word doc on your computer screen. Then, stop down your lens all the way as low as, say, f11 or f22. Then, take the photo. And then and open it up in Lightroom and have a look at it. You should be able to see any sensor dust problems fairly clearly. To get started, you're gonna need three key pieces of equipment in order to do this. The first is some kind of professional air blower. The second is a small bottle of special cleaning fluid. And the third are some special sensor swabs. I use these sensor swabs from Photosol and the size that you need to get for the Fujifilm mirrorless crop sensor cameras, such as the X-T2, XT3 and XT4 is the type 2 sensor swabs. I will have a link to these exact products down below in the description. Now there are other brands to consider, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you what I routinely use when I clean the sensors in my cameras. You'll generally want to perform this procedure in as dust-free an area as possible. You're basically going to be using a swab and dragging it across your sensor in a certain motion. Now don't freak out about this. You're never actually touching the sensor anyway. You know, there's a piece of glass that covers your sensor. So it's not as fragile as you think, but you do need to be careful. Now for X-H1 and X-T4 camera owners, listen up. There are several things you need to do to prepare your camera before you start cleaning the sensor. This has to do with the IBIS mechanism that moves the sensor around. You can cause real damage to it if you don't follow these steps. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go into your menu and make sure that shoot without lens is set to off. The reason you wanna do this is because while you're cleaning your sensor, you are going to actually be leaving the camera on and you don't want to accidentally bump the shutter and take a picture while you're cleaning the sensor. The second setting you want to make is to have image stabilization turned to off. Just like that. Make sure that both of these are off. For the IS mode, I actually went into both the movie and the still settings and I turned them off on both. And just to be extra safe, I would also set the shutter type to electronic shutter. You don't want to take any risk whatsoever of having the shutter move while you're trying to clean the sensor. And lastly, for and only for X-H1 and X-T4 owners, make sure that you leave your camera on while you perform this sensor cleaning operation. Now for all other Fujifilm crop sensor cameras, such as the X-T1, X-T2, X-T3, and so forth, turn your cameras off. Okay, so the first thing you are going to wanna do, obviously, is remove the lens from the camera. And second, what I recommend doing is taking your thumb and wiping down the mount, okay? And the reason for this is there may be particles or dust or dirt or whatever, and you don't want that falling onto your sensor. Just like this, see? Yeah, look at all that that came off. Next, you're gonna blow some air, but only use this, don't use that. Don't use one of these. And just tilt the camera like this so the sensor is facing down and... Okay, now for the actual cleaning itself, you will be using one of these swabs right here. 
These are single use swabs. So what you wanna do is you wanna drag it in one direction evenly, then turn it this way, drag it back, and then lift off. You can see kind of how much pressure I'm applying. Drag this way across the sensor, stop. When you get to the end of the sensor, turn this way, drag back. When you get to the other end, stop, lift straight up. Do not rub the sensor with this. Just a dragging motion one way, a dragging motion back, and then lift up. In terms of the amount of pressure you wanna use, about this much right here. If you are cleaning the sensor on an X-H1 or an X-T4, you'll wanna use a little bit less pressure than you would with any other non-IBIS camera. Now you'll be adding drops to the sensor swab. Make sure you don't go drop, drop, drop on the swab holding it over the camera. You don't wanna have this stuff drip into the sensor. You wanna put one to two drops on the swab. So I'll put a drop just like that, turn, and then I kind of slide the other drop across like that. The other thing that you need to know is that the liquid dries very quickly. In fact, the second you're done putting the drops on the swab, clean your sensor. So again, a drop on the back, kind of a drop right on the front along the side so that you just have two drops and then you immediately start as soon as you finish putting the drops on it. Okay, let's do this. Drop on that side and kind of slide it across there. Here it goes. Start on one side, go to the other, stop, turn, go back and lift up. Just like that. Have a look at that. This is perfect. Lastly, you wanna blow dust out again. Whew. All done. You could then take another photo and then double check it in Lightroom and you can compare it between before you clean the sensor and after you cleaned the sensor. Worst case scenario, you may need to do a second cleaning, but don't forget to throw away the original swab and get another one out of the packet. Never reuse the same swab more than one time on the sensor. At this point, you should be done. Give yourself a pat on the back and a congratulations. It's not as hard as you think. And Fujifilm X-H1 and X-T4 users, don't forget to go back into your menu and put your camera settings back to what they were before you started. Cleaning your camera sensor is not as hard as you think it is. However, as I mentioned, mentioned in the beginning of this video, if any of this stuff makes you squeamish, then you certainly have the option to send your camera to Fujifilm or elsewhere for a professional sensor cleaning. However, you've got this. I know you've got this. Look at what I did. I took the grossest vacuum cleaner dust. I touched it all over the sensor and you saw how clean I was able to get it with using the swab. It didn't take very long. It's very easy to do, but you do need to follow the directions. Good luck and may your sensors always be sparkling bright and the odds be ever in your favor. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please give it the like and subscribe. And I will see you in another video again real soon. Take care. Well, hi there. After I edited this video and I was preparing to publish it to YouTube, I noticed that the way I was holding the sensor swab and dragging it across the sensor was a little too much pressure than I think you ought to do if you've never done this before. I think you should always err on the side of caution. Therefore, I wanna be very clear before I leave you right now on the way that I think you need to do it. Just to be sure, here's what you need to do. Just like that, this much pressure. The way that I was doing it in the video was more like this. Well, I hope that makes it a little bit more clear on how much pressure to apply with the sensor swab. You know, I mean, this is the way I do it, but I've been doing it for a while. And if you've never done it before, it's always better to sort of err on the side of caution. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. I'm gonna head out of here. I'll see you soon.